Snake plants are having a serious moment right now. I'm Travis from Calyx Floral Design. I'm gonna to talk to you about them. So snake plants are your easiest care plant. And when I say easiest care, I mean you probably can't kill them, most likely. Um, they're really, really easy to care for. They're lovely. They love low light. So if you have a room that has like just a teeny little window, that's okay. If you have a room where your fluorescent lights or your ceiling lights are on most of the time, but you don't have a window, that's okay. Snake plants are so easy to care for because they love low light. They don't love being in a bright sunny window, so they will um, burn a little bit on the leaves if you do that. Keep them in low light and only water them when the soil is completely dry. That means every three to four weeks. They don't need a lot of water. Um, they have lots of other names. Snake plants, so they're actually called Sansevieria. That's their you know, fancy name. Um, or we know mo most commonly know them as snake plants, um, also known as mother-in-law's tongue or cast iron plant. Um, they're hardy, they're awesome. Um, this guy right here is really, really fun. This is a, called a Sansevieria Mikado. Sansevieria Mikado is really cool because instead of being all flat like these guys, they're actually a little bit of a round little spike. So much fun, so easy to care for. And they grow these awesome little offshoots so you can actually easily pull them apart and grow some more plants from your one plant. Um, the roots on Sansevieria are really, really small and they kind of ball together. So when you go to transplant your friend, you can actually separate it into four or five different plants if you want and give your friend a new plant and make their day. Um, Sansevieria are also really cool because they are known for um, being air cleaning. Um, NASA has their top 10 list of sort of best plants for air quality. Sansevieria are on that top 10. I think they might be number one. They are like way up there for being amazing. Um, so you're actually, it's recommended that you keep them in your bedroom and you put them beside your bed because it's gonna help um,